Hey guys, it's Martin Cliff here and welcome to a new series of videos just simply called My Guitars. Um, in each video I'm going to spend a little bit of time looking at one of my guitars in question. Uh, and in this case it is Beastie um, in this first episode. Reason being primarily that Beastie is going to go back to the UK um, at Easter in a few weeks time. Um, and I'm trying to get stuff sorted out and packed up ready for that. Um, so what and who is Beastie? Beastie is a 2004 uh, Ibanez JS100 in black. Um, nothing particularly un unusual, though there were plenty of those made. Uh, this particular guitar is signed by Mr. Jeff Sheets on the back, who is an amazing guitar player who I met at the Greenbelt Festival a um, couple of years back, a few years back now, probably five or six, I don't know. Um, he was uh, an influence on me growing up, great guitar player, a uh, lovely guy. Um, so JS, Jeff Sheets, I know it's not the same, but it, it seemed appropriate and this was the guitar I had with me at the festival and I asked him to sign it on the back of the headstock there. Um, the pickups in this are a Dimazio AT1 and the Timmons pickup in the bridge and uh, and Norton in the neck and they're the sort of plastic covered, the black covered pickups. Um, tuners are hip shot locking tuners. Um, the open gear ones, they're a little bit lighter weight. Um, I don't use the locking trem on this. So the bridge has a tremolo no system in the back plate, uh, in the back panel. And I've not got the clamps on the locking nuts because I don't need them if but locking tuners and not using the tremolo. Um, but the big question that most of people are asking is, I imagine, how does it sound? Well, pretty darn good. So I'm clean, I've got a little bit of reverb on, but that's it. So it's quite a meaty tone. Um, that's the bridge humbucker. Uh, middle position is both humbuckers together. So it's got a kind of, the neck position is slightly fluty sounding, I find. Uh, and it's got coil taps, so coil tap, neck. So without any effect on it, so it's a pretty sort of versatile sounding, fairly powerful guitar, not too bright. Um, I really like it. Strung with the Dario NYXL 10 to 46, um, and it's tuned down to E flat. Um, so with a bit of dirt on it, go back to the middle position humbucker. Thank you. 
versatile sounding sounding guitar. Um, had a long time, bought it new in early 2005 from iMuso, which no longer exists in the UK. Um, it came with me to Hong Kong initially when I shipped all my stuff here. It then went back to England um, in January of 2014. It then came back to Hong Kong again in July of 2015. Um, and now it's going back to the UK for a number of reasons. One, because I probably have more guitars here than I need and I don't have any guitars back in the UK. Um, and another key reason uh, is that due to the, the site's um, regulations that came in on January 7th, 2017, um, anything with rosewood, and this has a rosewood fingerboard, anything with rosewood is difficult to travel with. Um, the regulations are complicated, and I'm not going to get into them here, um, but basically... Travelling with rosewood for personal use, uh, up to a certain amount, 10 kilos, which is just over two guitars worth of weight, but obviously the guitar isn't all rosewood, so it depends how they apply that particular um, requirement or, or regulation. Um, Travelling with up to 10 kilos for personal use is okay. Shipping stuff is complicated because you need export licences and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of the... Um, international bodies have not quite caught up with this whole thing yet um, so to kind of circumvent that um, in a in a perfectly legal way but in a way that just gonna make life easier as and when we come to leave Hong Kong I've decided to take a couple of guitars back to, to the UK um, so I have guitars in the UK and also just to make my life easier as and when we come to leave Hong Kong um, so yeah, it, it's a bit of a pain, um, but this is this is one of the guitars that I, I probably play the least, so it makes sense for it to be one of the ones that's going, um, and it travels well, it's a pretty rugged guitar, so um, there we go. Okay, I hope that's been of interest to you. Um, let's stick on a bit of fuzz and I'll just play out with something a bit of fun. Till next time, take care.